I would say that Mark was really analytical type person who really liked to help people. He was very spontaneous. Probably the most unique person I knew. He was a bit of a jokester. Like, even if you barely knew Mark, he, he kind of made you felt welcomed. He had already started to do a lot of volunteering. When an accident had occurred, he would, you know, he would stop and he would want to help. He would always want to try to find a solution. He was, in that sense, he was much older than his age because he was doing these things like at nine years old. We've always had Mark Daniel in music from the very beginning. He started with uh, vocals. Uh, later on, um, he got into music, again, instrumental. And he, he started uh, with a bass guitar. He taught me everything I knew on bass, from traditional jazz to slapping, popping. It was the first day of jazz band, and I walked in thinking I was the shit. I'm you know, the best bass player in the world. And the first um, jam session that Miss Garcia uh, let us do, Mark picked up the bass and just played, and I was like, holy crap, I am not worthy. <laughs> you know, like, he, the, what he played was just so amazing, so groovy, so good. I was like, wow, I didn't know a bass could do that. He introduced me to basically music because before him, I would just listen to nothing but metal. That's all I would listen to. But when I met Mark, he introduced me to like Chili Peppers, Primus, uh, John Coltrane, Louis Armstrong, like all these amazing jazz artists and all these amazing like funk artists too that really opened my mind to music and got me playing other things than just metal. Mr. Garcia only asked him to train me during class time. And Mark, didn't, he did that, but he went beyond that. He took me to his house. He, you know, t taught me all this stuff on his own free time. He would always give me rides. He would always, you know, he would always be there for me. And it was like the first person in my entire life that actually took time out of his busy schedule to like teach me something. And that really kind of like meant a lot because if it wasn't for that, I probably, probably, I probably wouldn't be playing bass right now. He actually tuned my ear to like actually listen to bass lines in music. Like every time I listen to music now, I just hear the bass line, and he taught me that. He's a very intelligent guy. Uh, you could have an intellectual conversation with, and. Uh, he just loved music, and I think that's what actually just connected us. I remember he intru introduced like a uh, different styles that I haven't heard before. Mark influenced me with like certain styles, like tapping. He was one of the first people to tell me, "Oh, you should try to do it. Sounds cool." And I remember him showing me some music and I would always try to try to do it. Playing with him helped me listen and it helped me be a better musician than, uh, than just playing by myself. It's like you'll never forget, it's like riding a bike.
we played a lot of music together and he opened my um, eyes to a lot of different music. I was, I wouldn't say close minded when it came to music, but he opened my eyes to a lot of different stuff. Wow, I look back at all my friends, a lot of my friends don't play music anymore. I'm probably one of the few that still does. And every time I look at that and realize that, I figure, I think that he had a hand in that. Because of that, it makes me think like, non, don't give up, keep going, keep going. Mark does move it all the time. He, you know, he was not really by the book. He was kind of outside the box. Because sometimes music, people just play the music, they don't feel it, they don't understand it. And that guy just knew what he was talking about. I mean, I knew nothing of rock and roll, and this guy would taught me all this stuff. Jazz musicians left and right. I, I mean, I was just classically trained, so I was very close-minded as far as what, what music outside of classic uh, was. So that stuck with, with me. I mean, it's, it's really the few musicians I got to jam jazz and got to have fun and not have to worry about, oh, you're supposed to play this chord after this one. You know, who cares? It's, it's all about what comes out. So that's Mari for me. Before we were together, I... I can say I was I was pretty shy. You make me feel like I am home. In the course of um, on the course of our relationship, he um, made me be more independent. You make me feel like I am home again. I was kind of like, you know, breaking off from my mom, you know, underneath my mom's wing and um, just doing things I probably would have never done. So I think he made me a stronger person. kind of instilled in me a sense of wanting to take care of others. He made me want to like make the world around me, not necessarily the entire world, but just the world around me a little bit better. Every time I help somebody in any sort of way, whether it's, you know, buying them lunch or whatever, you know, giving a uh, homeless person some money to go buy some food, uh, I think of Mark. One of the hardest days in our, our lives, my, mine and my wife's, is when our son passed away. He was on his motorcycle. He was on his way to work and he got cut off by another car. A car in front of him pulled to the right. First impact hurt him, and the second impact killed him.
I would tell him that that I was he. I'm thankful for him being in my life, like for uh, the time that I knew him, and I wish that uh, that he was here just today. I I got to be adventurous. Because I was so uptight and so serious. With that guy, I got, I got to really experience life a little bit more than what I would have without him, so. I do and I did care about Mark honey. And I always will, he, he made an impact in my life, I'll never forget. Uh, as a friend, as a musician, just in life in general. And uh, I think about him every day, literally every day. And if it wasn't for him, I don't even know what the hell I'd be playing right now. I would probably just be either probably would have sold all my stuff or I probably would have just left it in my closet to collect dust. Because every time I pick my bass, it's because of him. 